I come here to address the equity crisis Governor Tom Corbett has allowed. I come here to ask Governor Tom Corbett one question and one question only. Are you setting us up for failure? Everybody from all over Pennsylvania came today to support. We came together for a cause and that's what we did. We came here today because adequate and equitable funding for public schools is a priority and must be a priority in this budget. We are crying out for help and so far our cries are not being answered. Over a billion dollars have been cut from grades K through 12 and higher education. Our education helps determine who we end up being in life, therefore our future is being jeopardized by funds being thrashed. Students are being put on the back burner while more prisons are being built. Is this really our priority? No! no. Our schools are going to turn into prisons. We're not going to have any freedom, we're not going to be able to do the things that we want. We're going to be uh, stuck in classrooms, we have metal detectors, it's like being behind bars. Richer schools shouldn't have more privileges than poorer schools do just because we're underfunded and they're not. We should all get the same textbooks, the same technology, we should all have the same things and it should be a fair education. Let me tell you about two neighboring school districts in Pennsylvania, Radnor and Chester Upland. Radnor is wealthy and Chester is poor. $950 was cut from each class in Radnor and in Chester Upland, $29,000. $29,000. Is that right? No! Is that right? No! Hi, I'm Sierra Williams, and I'm a senior at Science and Discovery High School in Chester, Pennsylvania. Chester Upland School District has been crippled by Governor Corbett's budget cuts. Before the school year started, 53% of the teachers in my school district were laid off. In January, my teachers were working without pay. Let me say that again. My teachers were working without pay. There is a constant fear of the school shutting down because our budget is not substantial for quality education. No tenemos enfermera, no tenemos consejero. Para el año que viene posiblemente vayan a recortar todo el personal bilingüe en una escuela donde se habla más de 12 idiomas. Recortaron todos los programas de la escuela, tales como las ayudas de tareas, el programa de música y la comida gratuita para los niños de cuarto año para arriba. I come here to address the equity crisis Governor Tom Corbett has allowed. I come here to ask Governor Tom Corbett one question and one question only. Are you setting us up for failure? My name is Tia Torres from Pittsburgh. budget cuts hurt. I'm here representing A-plus schools and speak for every single individual student at this work. I ask you this question, and this is my question only, because you believe in cutting millions of dollars from our education to friendly students, knowing that education is the key to being our economic predicament, knowing that Education is the only positive way out of our poverty. Knowing that education is the only way to find a good, well-paying job. But I bet you see sleep soundless at night. Where has the love for equitable public education gone? It is evident that the time has come in the era of public education for students from all across this vast state, from all walks of life and respective backgrounds, to come together in solidarity against the budget cuts. <laughs> A lot of our legislators will say that we need to make cuts to fund education. We reject the premise that we are pitted against each other. They're poor and working people. Today they stand on our shoulders, but tomorrow 
we lean on them. So fund public education to its fullest potential. And I want Governor Corbett to put on notice today. Our children are up here to put you on notice. Governor Corbett, our children are not leaving, they will be back. Fund public education. So after this, I'm going to Spelman College in the fall, and I'm going to learn and I'm going to be educated so I can come back and educate my peers. I'm going to come back and I'm going to make sure that more students get involved in each program to speak for themselves and know that their voice can be heard around and across the country because I believe that this opportunity right here is going to open up opportunities for people across the country that are going to suffer in the same thing. It's just not statewide, just not citywide. We want to take this across the country and if it has to be a federal level.